and I'm, uh, we are putting together a special issue for Journal of Functional Programming on this wonderful story of functional programming is absolutely, totally great for parallelism and concurrency. I know many of you in this room are working on this, and we would love to see whether you can compile your past work into journal papers that inform the rest of the programming language community about the progress that you've made. So uh, there are flyers out at the front desk, registration desk, uh, and the both of us, uh, both Garby and Fritz, among those two halves of me, would really love to see your submissions over the next half year. Details on the flyer, pick them up. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, this is the end of ICFP. Uh, I think we had a number of uh, great invited talks and very nice contributor talks. I think it was a wide variety of topics represented, many languages, lots of interesting ideas, lots of discussion. So I think ICFP has really been a forum this year. Um, besides all the speakers, I think we also had a very well-behaved audience. Uh, I think people came with constructive comments, uh, not just about content, but also about organization matters to me. Uh, it, it has been uh, a pleasure to organize it. Uh, I've, I've said this a couple of times, but uh, I organized more meetings, but this meeting has been surprisingly uh, stressless, uh, I would say. Uh, of course, there's a certain amount of stress, but uh, I think everything went friendly audience, constructive comments, lots of nice, interesting work. So I think it's been very good. Um, before I close, uh, I want to mention the people that all organized this, and I'm going to do the uh, thing I maybe shouldn't do. I want to pick out one person, and that's uh, Björn von Zinov, the local organizer. Are you here, Björn? Yeah, in the back. So he's... Uh, He's been responsible for the local organization and he's taken care of the venue. Uh, he's looked after the big picture, but lots of minor, minor, minor details that need to be arranged. And I think he's done it very well. I think it has gone very smoothly. And uh, I feel very happy to have him as the local organizer here. So I want to have a special thank you to Björn Fuzino. So this is the closing of ICFP. Uh, my job is over. Oh well. <laughs> the rest of the week there will be tutorials, symposia, workshops. Uh, so there's still a lot of things happening. But uh, uh, at the end of the week it's really the end of the week. Uh, but then there's still something to look forward to. And that's ICFP 2015. And from now on, Kathleen is uh, taking over. Thank you. So I think we need to start by thanking Johan for all of his contributions for ICFP 2014. And then Johan started by saying that this was the end of ICFP, which of course is not true. It's just the end of ICFP 2014, but I expect to see all or almost all of you at ICFP 2015. As you can see from the slide, ICP 2015 will take place in Vancouver, British Columbia, on the west coast of Canada, uh, on the first to third of September, with workshops the two days before and the two days afterwards at the Hyatt Regency Vancouver. Um, one of the things that's nice about this space is how high the ceiling. The ballroom at the Vancouver Hotel is also is 18 feet high, so you'll be able to see the bottom of the slide from the back. The hotel has been recently renovated. Uh, there's a Starbucks in the lobby and nice, lots of nice uh, milling around space. It's in downtown Vancouver, so there's lots of really great restaurants and nice places to walk to. It's a few blocks from the train station. You can get a train from the airport uh, out to that train station for about $7 and then walk the few blocks to the hotel, so it should be really easy to get to. They've had lots of experience hosting IEEE meetings 
IETF meetings where they've had like 1,800 simultaneously simultaneous network connections, so we should be able to have good network connectivity. Uh, the hotel rooms have power outlets on both sides of the bed, so you can plug in your phone without having to <laughs> crawl under the bed and find the power outlet. Uh, so I'm really excited about the venue. I think that it will be uh, a really great place for a meeting. Hopefully visas will be easier with the meeting in Canada instead of in the U.S. Uh, right. The, uh, the website went live earlier today, so if you go to the URL here, you'll get information about ICMP 2015. I think very shortly we will change over the main page so that you can find the link to 2015 pretty easily. Uh, this slide shows the, the organizing committee, so uh, we've had a lot of great volunteers uh, be ready to step up. You can see many of the names are rolling over from this year, so we have experienced people doing things again, uh, along with new people uh, doing various other jobs. Uh, one thing that's new next year is uh, I'd like to call your attention to is the mentoring workshop. You might be familiar that Popple has been running the programming language mentoring workshop for the past four years or so. So this is going to be something like that. It will be, uh, the goal is to make it slightly smaller, so something like 40 students instead of 120 students. It will be pitched to first, second, and third year graduate students who are on a research track. So kind of beginning graduate school on a research thing. So not so much course-based masters, but master students who are doing research and then PhD students. Um, so Ron and, and Stephanie will be organizing that. If you have, uh, please apply when you get information uh, and send us suggestions. And in general, if you have any comments or things that you'd like to make sure happen next year or suggestions for how to make this a better meeting, please feel free to, uh, to send email or to send any of the people here mail relevant to their particular, particular position. Uh, the deadlines, the workshop proposals are the first things that are due. They're going to be due Friday, November 14th. The call is not yet available. It will be ready uh, probably in about a month from now, so be on the lookout for that. And um, then the, the call for papers for ICFP itself will be on Friday, September, sorry, 27th of February. The program chair is John Reppy, who is here. Um, you might want to come and say a few words. So this is the web page for ICP 2015. Uh, yeah, so I don't, uh, I don't have much to add. Uh, please submit. That's that's the most important thing. Um, uh, largely, the processes will be the same as they were this year. The call for papers is just a small delta over last year's call for papers. The deadlines are fairly similar. Um, Page lengths are the same, that sort of thing. So uh, please send us your papers. And also, if you have any questions, I'd be happy. Yeah, any, any questions or comments? Everyone's ready to go home. Yeah, well then, thanks very much, and we'll see you uh, well, tomorrow, but then again in Vancouver next year. Thank you.